मॉड्यूल फाइव चेंज वर्किंग टाइम सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक यू ऑल्टरनेट सैटरडेज ऑफ और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक सैटरडे संडे वर्किंग ऑल टूगेदर और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड एनी अदर एक्सेप्शन दैट इज अ हॉलीडे और अ वैकेशन इन बिटवीन द कैलेंडर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोजेक्ट टू थाउजेंड टेन दैन वी नीड टू यूज चेंज वर्क टाइम फंक्शन और चेंज कैलेंडर फंक्शन सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स बिगिन विद हाउ टू इंसर्ट द समरी for the whole project so as on the screen you can see this is the project and if you want to know for how many days the project keeps on going then you need to sum up all these days so microsoft project itself can do it and display on the very first row of this table to do that go on to format format and click on project summary task over here it shows the summary task for the project so click on it so now here we have the zero through row Once again, we deselect. So you see that our project starts from one. But while we enter this, it shows the total summary of our project. Now, currently, the summary is about the duration is about twenty five days. Now, if you want to modify the working times, that is, we want to modify the calendar, you can go on to the project tab over here, and here we have change working time. Now. we can click over here so this is the general box that appears on our screen the gray color over here indicates that it's a holiday that is saturday and sunday by default are set as an holiday over here so now if you want to modify and make it as a working days so first of all we need to go over here on work week steps click on it it's by default written over here go to details and select days suppose if you want to make all 7 days as a working so we can select all of them or if you wanted to make just 6 we can select 6 of them but in this case we are selecting all the days as we want to make all of them working and then go on to set days to the specific working times that is we are setting a specific working time for each of these days suppose say the work starts at about 9 so we can write 9 over here 9 to 12 and 13 hours to 17 hours and press okay So now what you can see is here the gray boxes have appeared disappeared sorry the gray boxes has disappeared which means the saturday and sunday both are now a working days now suppose if we want to add an exception that the 28th october which is monday would be a holiday so in order to do that you need to now go on to exceptions type the name of an exception suppose it's here casual holiday type it go on to the start enter the start date of the holiday and finish it note that you need not to select the date from this calendar if you want to enter date over here you can go and click over here and select the date from this one so we want to select 28th so it's 28th mind well to select the finish date too and if you want a holiday just for a single day then mind well the start and the finish dates are very same now click on okay So now, when we again go onto the calendar, we can see that this is a holiday over here. Now suppose if we want to add a holiday for every fourth Saturday throughout the year, for that we just need to go over here again under exceptions tab, write last Saturday holiday for each month. Now after entering this, select details. go to details here we have the recurrence pattern you can see over here here we want a recurrence pattern to be monthly that is select monthly then select the fourth day that is saturday of every one month and this is a range of recurrence suppose we want to start from 25 october 2013 and we want to end by 25 october 2014 then we just need to put the range over here and then press on okay so now what you can see is over here that is each and every last saturday of every month has been putted as a holiday so this is how the holidays can be put up in a recurrence manner now 
if you want to add one or more calendar in the same project you can do the very same this is a standard project calendar in which we were doing this formatting suppose we want to enter a different calendar for different entities or for different persons you can add, click on this tab create new calendar add the name that is new calendar and just press and ok so it would give you an option create a new base calendar make a copy of standard calendar so we are supposed to taking into consideration a standard calendar so we just click ok if you want to save changes made to the base calendar standard click on yes so this is it and we can select the, any of the calendar that we want from this tab so this was all working with calendar in Microsoft Project 2010